Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at test 3, section 4, number 13, which reads, The equation above gives the height h in feet of a ball t seconds after it is thrown straight up with an initial speed of v feet per second from a height of k feet. Which of the following gives v in terms of h, t, and k? So it's good to get in the habit of underlining what all the variables stand for. Usually that's important. In this problem, it does not matter at all. And after you read this, it sounds like it's a crazy, crazy problem. It sounds really confusing and complicated. The only thing you have to pay attention to is it's asking for V and then notice in all the answer choices, V is alone. So all you gotta do is get V alone. Sometimes students get confused when it says in terms of if you get confused where it says in terms of, cross out what, where it says in terms of and everything after that. Which of the following gives V? V's got to be alone. We're going to do this two different ways. First way we're going to do it is algebraically, which should be your go-to. If you have trouble with the algebraic approach, then I'll show you also how you can pick numbers to get this question correct as well. So, the first thing you want to do to both sides of this equation is... Let's say you add 16, add 16 t squared to both sides. And in that case, you get h plus 16 t squared equals vt plus k. Remember, we got to get v alone, so what, do I, what else do I have to do? I have to subtract k from both sides. Now, keeping in mind the answer choices, just so it looks alike, We've got the h first and then the k second in the answer choice. So I'm going to write h minus k plus 16t. Remember, you can't con combine any of those because the variables are different. Equals vt. At this point, you see that it's h minus k, so you know it's not going to be a. You know it's not going to be c. And then all that's left to do is divide by t. When you divide this whole thing by t, you might notice that the t down here, t squared is just t times t, so it's going to actually eliminate the square. It's going to take care of one of those t's. So the h minus k remains over t, but I could put just plus 16t because once again that t was eliminated equals v, and you can see your correct answer here is d. Approach number two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick numbers. This is for those of you who have trouble with algebra. And what we do is we pick numbers for the equation, when you pick numbers for an equation that has more than one variable, you've got to pick for all but one and solve. So there's four variables here. I'm going to pick numbers for three variables and then solve for the fourth. I never want to pick a number for the variable that's alone. I'm always solving for the variable that's alone. That's the easier way to do it. So to keep it as simple as possible, if I could get away with it, I'm going to make t equal 1, I'm going to make v equal 1, and I'm going to make k equal 1. And if I do, what I get is h equals negative 16 times 1 squared plus 1 times 1 plus 1. And now I have h equals 1 squared is just 1, so it's negative 16 times 1 plus 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1. I get h equals negative 16 plus 1 plus 1 is 2. So h equals negative 14. Okay, so when my t is 1, my v is 1, and my k is 1, my h equals negative 14. So now when I go to my answer choices, in place of h, I'm going to put negative 14. In place of t, I'm going to put 1. And in place of k, I'm going to put 1. And I'm going to see what winds up giving me that um, the v, 1 as v. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. Uh, I don't want to get rid of all of it though. So I'm just going to wipe out this right here. We don't need that. So we have just a little bit more room to work. So let's say I'm plugging in for answer choice A. I have v, which is 1, and I'm setting that equal to h, which is negative 14, plus k, which is 1, minus 16 times t, which is 1. And I get v equals 
it's going to wind up being negative 13 minus 16, negative 29. That's not 1. Answer choice A is gone. So that's what a wrong answer would look like. Like So just to cut to the chase, because we know what the correct answer is here, it's going to be D. And notice how this works out. V, which is 1, equals H, or H is negative 14, minus K, your K is 1, minus 1, over T, which is 1, plus 16T, which is 1. And we've got 1 equals negative 14 minus 1 is going to give you negative 15, and 16 times 1 is 16. It's negative 15 over 1 plus 16, which is negative 15 plus 16, and sure enough, you get 1 for answer choice D. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has difficulty with this type of question where you could pick numbers, or if it's a little bit more complicated for an algebra problem. You could leave their name in the comments as well, tag them so they see it. And if there's any question you'd like to see from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, you leave that in the comments as well. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.